Good morning. It's uh, Sunday, New Year's Eve. Here in the garage, got the coffee brewed. It's about 40 degrees in here. I find it quite relaxing. Perfect temp. Enjoying my first cigar of the day. Let's uh, let's look at a couple of products that I have come across. Um, I've always been a huge fan of Advan Black. Uh, Steve, I love your videos, brother. Um, and we're friends on Facebook. I, I everybody enjoys you know being able to keep up with with uh, what's going on with you and the family. And <clears throat> hope everybody had great holidays. Uh, today I've got two products. I've got the Advan Black. Uh, hard bag, I guess uh, the latching devices, not not the latch itself or the lid, but what it, it holds the hard bags onto the side of the bagger. And I've got the Rick Rack Sure Click Saddlebag Safety Bolt Solution um, is what they're calling theirs. <clears throat> this is the Advan Black. Um, what do they actually call it? They call it the. Advan Black Security Mounting Kit for Harley Standard or Stretched Saddlebags all years. They, they don't break it down uh, to specific uh, models or years. They just says all years. So <clears throat> I want to show you folks the difference in, in these, two, these two setups. I think uh, through Advan Black, I paid about 20 bucks for these, I could be wrong. It may have been 25, it may have been 19. Um, but Advan Black and the Rick Rack system, I think I paid 90 bucks for these. But um, I mean, it is what it is. Nobody sent me these for free. And let's, uh, let's get into the install. I'm gonna go ahead and install these both uh, side by sides to give you folks a, a real world uh, perspective uh, situation um, fits all Harley hard saddlebags is what it says right on the front and on the back there's some pictures of a few other little products set that there um, Rick Rack sent I, I don't know why people send catalogs anymore other than they just really want to put their products in your face right there without you having to get onto the web but they sent this Xerox copy with the products they carry and their phone number. Um, okay, cool. And this Rick Rack product catalog. 2023, 2024 Rick Rack rally schedule is on the back. If you're into the Rick Rack, uh, if you're into following where they are gonna be at the different uh, rallies. Um, it's a pretty nice full color, you know, full color catalog plenty of pages um there it is right there the, the shirt clicks so <clears throat> they have a lot of neat products they have the the emblems they got cup holders they got a lot of shiny blingy stuff they got sound systems by rockford fosgate um i'm only reading you all of these out of this magazine uh catalog because it's right here in front of me um Clearly, if you want to see what Advan Black has to offer, just log on to their, you know, get into their website and go through their, go through their choices. So <clears throat> this is what Rick Rack sent. Let me hop over, grab a screwdriver and a pair of needle nose. I'm assuming that's probably going to be about all that uh, she'll need. And let's put it together. Just 
set this aside, set that aside. <clears throat> People seem to complain about these types of hardware. I uh, I personally don't complain about those types of hardware, but other people do. <clears throat> the main reason I'm doing this is because when I bought this bike, um, it was missing some pieces, a lot of pieces, and I've just kind of got both bags hung on. This This side of the bike actually does have the original spin spin clips with the original you know washers and uh, the good rubber grommets. The other side uh, does not, so I've just kind of got it fitted into place. But let's get this let's get this side off here. Get this speaker unplugged. Pulled out of place. <clears throat> well, you don't realize how heavy a bag can get when it's got a, a six by nine speaker uh, in the speaker lid. So we'll go with the Advan Black first. Got you a little Advan black sticker. Throw on the toolbox, which I do put all my cool little stickers on my toolbox. So we've got these really robust uh, molded plastic wing nuts, I guess you'd call them, wing bolts. And here's your, here's your keepers. Was there an instruction right here? Yes, there was. So we'll go ahead and pull off. We'll, we'll go here in the front. We'll go ahead and pull this off. took this plastic piece with it. Ooh, a little bit of dirt in there. When I bought this bike, I bought it from West Texas. It's a 2013 110th anniversary <coughs> uh, electric glide that I went ahead and just stripped down because I've always wanted a street glide, but I couldn't find a a street glide within my budget that hadn't been completely molested and high mileage and asking way too much money for it. So I'm just holding this plastic piece on here, not sure if I need it. <clears throat> Here's the, uh, looks like the portion that has the little tip goes in the back. So, Maybe we need this, maybe we don't. I'm not sure. If we do, we'll I'll know real quick. And it looks like <coughs> looks like we we're not going to need this plastic piece because it uh, it takes away from the correct spacing, perhaps. So get that pulled back off. If I can, let's see, what do we got? Well, 
Okay, well, let's just break that plastic piece. <clears throat> yeah, there's a, the threaded molded nut portion goes to the back, to the inside of the bike. So that just clicks on up in there and <clears throat> I don't know. Not real sure about that. And we'll pull off this front one here, or this rear one, I'm sorry. There's the rear one. It's actually my very first time to ever pull these off any bike in my life. So <clears throat> let's see what Rick Rat has to offer here. They have what looks to be similar. Little nut keepers. And again, that threaded Piece will go towards the bike. It's not built much different. But boy, it sure is a tighter fit. A very, very much tighter fit. And there it is there. It's a, uh, it's, it's built, it, it is built different. And I, I mean, you can definitely tell the difference. Clearly see the difference. So let's run back over here, grab the bag. Get her lined up and she looks to be lined up. So right here we will throw the Advan Black. You know what? Advan Black has uh, some washers in here, so let's throw a washer. I always like to put my washers with the rounded face out and the flat face in and you you can you can typically see that i just that's just one of my one of my peeves is uh i like to have the rounded side facing so there you have it I couldn't, uh, I couldn't imagine wanting to put any Loctite on this. Um, but uh, I'm kind of curious what would keep this from vibrating. You know, these bags, <laughs> they, they, they do take a, a lot of abuse on the road. They catch all the wind. Um, you know, they have these little rubber bumpers in, you know, in the bag, but Boy, I, I, sh I wonder if this would ever back out, and I certainly don't want to make it so tight that it would strip out that thin metal molded threaded nut, you know, integrated portion of that clip. But that's pretty tight, and the only flex is the flex of the bag. That's it. So let's take a look at Rick Rack. Rick Rack has four individually packaged. Keepers. And it looks like it has a some wa a washer that's pressed on 
past the threads. It doesn't come back off, but you see those detents? It's got some detents in there that you can feel the way they index between the washer and that spin arm system. So let's throw this one up in there. And that one seemed to just glide right in. Oh, wow, now here's a, here's a big difference. I can actually feel the detent begin to grab. Click, click, click. Yeah, those detents are grabbing, they're indexing on that turn wheel. So I would imagine once you uh, start to compress that rubber grommet in the bag, Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully you can hear that. Let's give it one more. Wow, that's, that's extremely tight and it's indexed with those detents. And again, the only flex is in the bag portion itself. Not, there's no looseness of the hardware. So, Okay, there's one more. Maybe you can hear the last click. There's the last click. I'm not, I'm not gonna tighten it anymore because not to take anything away from Advan Black, but these do simply have the pressed, threaded portions of thin sheet metal on those holders. So my logo is upside down. That may or may not irritate me down the road, but by golly, I do not think that I'm gonna have to do anything else to this because of those indexed detents on that that washer system that, that's locking the, uh, you know, you have a friction bite of the washer on the rubber grommet and then you have the indexing detents of the washer against this, this knob. Um, I would really almost suspect a person would want to run some blue Loctite on this. Um, it, it's, it's real unfortunate. Now, this is a $20 system. This is a $90 system. Um, this is perhaps a budget, uh, clearly a budget system. It, it'll get you by. I would almost trust this twisty original factory system that locks into place over this so not to take anything away from Advan Black but they, they they clearly are selling a product that they don't manufacture um, they're just putting their name on it and making it available to the public um, Rick Rack I, if I'm not mistaken they are manufacturing this product in the United States so they are not taking someone else's product and simply putting their name on it so there you have it I'm gonna go with the Rick Rack system, and that is that is tighter than shit. Um, this, you know, down the road, 75, 80 miles an hour, is uh, I, I I have a, a very I have a very stinking suspicion that this is going to want to back out, and you're going to end up having to constantly open and close your bags and and constantly uh, <clears throat> tighten these up. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, maybe I'll be making some more videos here in the future. I've been getting away from it, but it's winter time, and everybody needs to get ready for spring for the riding season. Y'all have a good day.